This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Good morning everybody and welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Thank you very much for watching. As you can see, today is a gorgeous day. It's proper sunny. I'm having to wear sunglasses. It's a really nice day. It's a little bit of a shame it's only three degrees out. It's very, um, what's the word, deceiving. It feels like it's nice out, but it's not. I've got the temperature inside the cab set to like 26 degrees. So it feels really warm like a summer's day. I'm in a t-shirt and everything. But as soon as I get out of the cab, I've got to have the coat on because it is quite cold outside. But um, it's a beautiful, beautiful looking, crisp winter's day, if you like. It's a really nice day today. And I love driving in these sort of conditions. Anyway, hopefully you're all all right. Thank you very much for watching today's video. Uh, don't forget today's video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK. Check out uh, their website. You get a 5% off if you quote my name. Link is in the description below. And uh, go and get your HGV license and start driving on the road just like me right let's get today's vlog started with so today for me is tuesday even though you're watching this on saturday and um we are halfway through the day if you like i've already done one delivery today i've done a delivery to newark uh newark to newbury and um to build base in newbury and we've been there loads of times so i decided not to vlog there because we've been there many, many times and you don't want to see the same stuff all the time. So, we've done that one. We're on our way to our second job of the day, which is going to Selco in um, Cosham, which is near Portsmouth. So that's where we're going now. We're only sort of eight miles away. We're on the M27 currently. Uh, the situation with this is, um, I don't know the ins and the outs, but apparently Days have another place somewhere down here near Portsmouth and they haven't got something uh, pebbles in this case they haven't got the type of pebbles that a juicens plant has ordered which is nearby to where i'm going so i'm fully loaded with bags and pallets for selco but i've also got a single bag one single bag of pellets that need to go to a juicens site afterwards so we need to get tipped at Cosham here um leave me with just one bag on the bed and then go to uh, a juicens yard which i've never been to before so um that'll be fun because most places i been to already so when I vlog I know what I'm doing so I'm gonna vlog on the way there and uh, it's gonna be new for me so you're gonna experience it as I experience it if you like and then that's it we're done for the day that's the three runs done but um, I've been told that tomorrow there's three runs going to Winchester Sydenham's so we're gonna try and get the first one done today and that's the one where you got to do the dodgy reverse and maneuver out and I'm gonna try and get a, a GoPro put on the back of the cab so you can see just how wide I've got to turn and, and yeah, things like that. So that's what I'm going to try and do on the Sydenham's plant. So yes, if all that sounds fun, stick around and um, hopefully, hopefully we can have some fun together. Right, so only five more miles or so left until we're in Cosham. So I'll see you when we're there. around the corner now so we need to turn right at these lights and take the next left and then we'll be here in Cosham put the old window down don't know why just when I turn up the site I just like to have the window down I just feel like I can hear more experience more you know just kind of see more in a way right there is a lorry already queued up so I need to find out if he's waiting to get into Cosham I want to park right where he, where he is. Cheers, mate. I've got nowhere else to go. He's a car, there's loads of room for him. Do you know what I mean? All right, let's get on over. Let's get my trailer off the other side of the road. Just 
just want to straighten up and get away from the curb. Remind me to check my tyres again. Right, we're here. So what I need to do now is just find out A, if he's going in, and uh, B, how long roughly I'm going to be. I could be here for a while, but let's find out. See you in a bit. Right, one hour after we got here, and we can now go in. I've got to reverse in. It's, like I said, it's quite a tight yard to reverse into this one, so you've got to be a bit careful. Good news is, I've got mostly pallets on. I've got, well, I say mostly, sort of half and half. I've got 10 pallets on. And the rest is bags. So it shouldn't take long. Once we're actually in, it shouldn't take too long to get tipped. But uh, yeah, matey boy said it'd only be two minutes and they'd get me in, but it's been, it's been an hour. Um, so I, I had a break. I said, right, well, if you're gonna, if you're gonna take your time, I'll have a break. They got a calf in here, so I went up to the calf. I had a 45 minute break, come back out, and I was still waiting to get in because they had another lorry in front. Right. All right, mate. Do you want to go? I'll let you go, mate. I said I'll let you through if you want. Well, I didn't let you through, never mind. I might just apply too much luck. I wasn't gonna get out of that. I can't turn right, but I need to. Sake. Sorry for swearing, but you just walked straight in front of me, that bloke, that TNT bloke. Oh. Alright. That's right, yeah, you're right. Thank you very much. Right, uh, let's get these pallets and bags off and then we can go to the next place. Three, seven, three, nine, seven, six. To repeat your payment reference, please press one. No. Thank you for using the Civica telephone payment system. Wow, what an absolute ball ache that was. How long did that take? Eight minutes to pay a £30 fine. Jesus. Yeah, so yeah, I just had to pay, pay a bus fine because I drove in a bus lane, <coughs> which is very naughty. At, what time was it? 6.36 in the morning. No, 6.37 in the morning. First thing in the morning, I'm driving in a bus lane, there's no traffic around me, and uh, they decide they want to find me. I just just defaulted to the left. I mean, I, it was ma I was making a left turn. I can remember I was making a left turn, so I just got over early. That was all it was. I literally drove in it for 100 yards. But never mind, just going to text my boss now with the reference number. Is that all cool? Right, so, we are tipped. 
we are ready to go. We now got to take that one last bag away. Um, let's put my wallet away. Yeah, got to go put that one bag now into uh, the Juicens plant and then head back to Southampton. So, I'll see you when we get to Juicens. So, we're in a place called War Waterlooville, I believe, or we're heading towards there anyway. Um, <clears throat> just come across a sign that said five ton weight limit, but seeing another Arctic has made me feel better. Yeah, there's loads of signs up saying five ton weight limit, and then there's loads of writing. There's no way I can read it. I've slowed down to see if I can read it. It's just too much. So, basically, I'm hoping I'm allowed up here. I should be. My sat nav is a, uh, a trucking sat nav. And I'm not staying, I'm just delivering. So there's something on the road and I couldn't quite tell what it was. It looks like metal, so I didn't want to run over it. Um, talking of Tom Tom, I was talking to Chucker J earlier on Twitter, because we've both done the same Tom Tom promotional video, but um, neither of us have been paid for it. And um, it's not it's not worth worrying about it to be honest I mean I'll be open they paid they, they, they said they were going to pay me 100 euros which is about 80 quid or something and um, and um, you can go away um, they just haven't paid it so um, I could chase it up but 80 quid I'm just I ain't bothered because it's, it's just more aggro than anything like I'll have to go to a small claims court take them to court which means I need to take a day off work and I get paid £145 a day, pretty much, if I do a night out as well. So, if I'm getting paid, if I'm losing £145 to go to court for £80, it just don't make sense, does it? So, yeah, I'm not going to worry chasing about it. It's only £80 just I can manage without that. And I think Jay was saying the same thing, he can manage without it. I need to get into the right hand side lane. Well, middle lane will do, because we need to go right at this roundabout. So we are a mile and a half away, four and a half minutes. I thought I would record the whole thing getting there, because I've never been down these roads before, so like back there, I don't know which lanes I need to be in or anything. It's just a case of uh, we experience this at the same time. All this for one bag. So, I mean, well, I'm not exactly going out of my way to deliver it. It's only 15 minutes up the road from where I was, so... And I'm getting... Bosses are going to get paid for it still, so... It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. Just I've never been here, that's all. I'm going to be one of those guys, those really annoying people who turn up and say, I've only got one pallet. <laughs> I've only got, got one bag. Uh, it annoys me when you're queuing. Like, back there in Salco, I was queuing to get in, there were two Arctics in front of me, one getting tipped and one literally in front of me. So I was the third one and then um, the first one gets low, uh, tipped and goes, the one in front of me gets tipped and goes, then it's my turn, another Arctic turns up, but he's only got one pallet, so guess what? They uh, they unload him first. So it's a, bit, it's a bit annoying and I'm hoping I get to be that guy now so I can experience what it's like. Do you mind if I pop in front of me? I've only got one pallet. And they'd be like, no. No, you can't. Yes, I do mind. We'll see. We'll see. Three quarters of a mile. We've got to make a right-hand turn in a sec. Which looks like a relatively narrow lane, looking at Google Maps. We'll, we'll be all right. So there's a, there's a road close sign now. I'm still starting to worry. The ramps. No road markings, so that's cool. Right, we need to turn right. Where's this right turn? <clears throat> Just over past this sign by the looks of it. There's a lay-by there. Is it before or after the lay-by? After by the looks. Yes. Let's go down here. Oh no, yeah, oh good god, where that red car is. That's a relatively tight turn. That's easy. 
once the car moves. There is a sign up there saying the road narrows, so let's not meet an Arctic. I bet these houses are happy with lorries coming down here. Jesus. Please let me go on the right way. It should be just up here on the right. Yeah, there it is. Right, I've gone the right way. That's a good start. You wouldn't want to meet another Arctic coming down there, would you? Right, do we need to wait before we go in? It's best to. I hate going in without asking. So let me go speak to him and I'll be back. Right, so we're in. He's told me to go up the top and spin round. Uh, but he wasn't really very clear. So where am I going? Obviously I'm not allowed to film inside yards. I've done a bit too much filming inside yards recently, so I just better make sure I behave. So I'm gonna go up here, spin round. Hopefully I see him. Maybe somewhere here, I think, where I am now. If I go up here and spin round, he said at the top. <clears throat> yeah, I've got plenty of room here to do it. Bit muddy. Back down again. And hopefully I see him somewhere and we can get the bag off. Yeah, there he is. You can't see him, but I can. So I'm just gonna stop. Over here in a sec. That'll do. So I'll get the side down, then we can uh, go back to Southampton. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV Class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys. Check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, five minutes later and the bag is off. Now, it might sound like five minutes ain't long, but considering I only had one bag, that is quite a while. Do I mean, it had to take 50 minutes for 10 bags and I carry 34, so. Yeah, five minutes to take one bag off. He uh, seemed like a nice bloke, but it took him four attempts to take the bag off. Never mind. Never mind. We are getting out. I'm filming in the yard because I'm leaving the yard, so I don't think I'm ever going to be back here. Um, right, so now we've got to go back out through these narrow roads. Over there. Can we go? Yes, we can. Right. So we will be back in Southampton for about two o'clock. And uh, hopefully we can get loaded before three o'clock and in Winchester before four o'clock get tipped and then be back in Southampton again for five o'clock. I'd probably be empty, but I'd be ready to start tomorrow morning at six for my first run to Winchester again.
that car is stopping, which is annoying at the same time because I want to be where he is. Let's turn left, clear right, clear left because he's flashed me. Brilliant! Right, let's go. Ugh. Indicator turn off. <coughs> I've got some interesting news to share with you, but I can't tell you, so I'm going to have to <laughs> let that savour in. Basically, next month, March, with a bit of luck, I will have something to tell you and share with you. But I don't want to say anything just yet because it's very early days and uh, we just. Everything's just been, what's, how can I put this? Everything's being put together and sort of um, tested, if you like, make sure, make sure it's good to go. So yes, I I'm not changing jobs. There's nothing to do with, with my job. It's to do with my channel. So um, yeah, in March, at the beginning of March, I should hopefully have something to tell you guys. But it's gonna have to wait until then. And I'm really rubbish at keeping secrets, so I probably will tell you before then as well, but we'll have to wait and see. All I will say is thank you to Robert for um, reaching out to me. Right, let's crack on to Southampton. By the way, not Robert, Roger, sorry. <laughs> what is all this smoke? There's a lot of smoke there, it's just all cleared up. I think the vehicle is some rocking. <coughs> right, so we are now loaded uh, for Sydenham's in Winchester, and we're we're here now. And uh, we just need to go left at these lights straight over the roundabout, and then take a left-hand turn. But uh, yeah, we're just around the corner. Oh, this. It's technically the fourth run of the day. Uh, it's the third full run, like fully, fully loaded run, but then we have to take that single bag. So it's the fourth place we're delivered to. So um, it's actually supposed to be a delivery for tomorrow. Not today, but they're gonna take it today. And I'm extremely happy that they are taking it today because tomorrow I've got to do three more deliveries here. So if I didn't do it today, then it would be four tomorrow, but there's only three instead. So I won't be vlogging tomorrow because that's going to be a very boring day tomorrow, even for me. Backwards and forwards, the same place all the time. Never mind. I will record it this once. So we just need to take a left up here. Where's that person? Is he crossing the road? Okay, he is looking, that's good. That van has decided he wants to pull out. I don't know what this lorry here is doing. Is there anyone in it? No, there's no one in there. So we'll just park up where we normally park, which is here. Apparently they are expecting me. So I need to run down, double check I can go in and uh, be back in a sec. Right, I just ran up that hill. <sighs> Good to go on in. Good to go. Here are the bumps. One two, three, and then the trailer, four, five, six, clear of the bump. In we come. Swing it 
over. I do that. Wow, that was really easy then getting in. I'm a professional at this place now. Right, oh, all this beeping. Let's go get loaded. Uh, tip driver. Right, we are ready to go. Got a reverse one out of here now. I should do it. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. For three runs. Can't wait. <laughs> see ya. Right, so let's just clear this. I'll just go up this bump. I need to put my seatbelt on, but I need to get on this hill first, really. You got to keep the momentum going up that hill, but then slow down late as possible to get over that hill without causing too much of a bump. But as you can see, there's still a bump. Right, let's put the old seatbelt on. So we're now done for the day. We just need to go and park up now in Southampton. Hazards off. And um, tomorrow morning at six o'clock, we will then drive, well, about a quarter, yeah, about 10 to six, we'll then drive towards Day Aggregates and get loaded for the morning. I'm hoping that tomorrow I will be loaded by seven o'clock and then here by half past seven, that's the plan. Now, who's going to let me out? Anybody? Anybody going to let me out? Doesn't look like it. No point going anyway because there's sirens. Your destination at well, yeah, there's blue lights over there, but I think they're going away from, from me, not towards me. Just double check. No, they could be coming towards me. They're quite far away though, so let's just put the foot down and start driving. Just trying to keep an eye out for those sirens. Are they coming towards me or are they going away from me? Can't quite see. Never mind. Anyway. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.